Yeah, Hello, YouTubers. My name is X Factor. Welcome to the first episode of How to Become a Better Noob for Battlefield 4. That's right. We're bringing the original Battlefield 3 series back. This is beginner all the way to advanced tips. And we're starting off today with choices. What's the choice you make when you spawn in? And we're going to use the most simplistic map possible. Operation Hurt Locker. Some obliteration. Some spots are three lanes. Some spots are two lanes. And some of the choke points are ridiculous. A couple of doorways that are three feet wide in several spots. So the question is, are you going for the back rage? Or are you trying to prevent the back rage? Are you flanking or are you not flanking? Are you a sheep or are you a wolf? The most common thing that happens in Operation Hurt Lockers, probably 70% of the forces, maybe more, go right for the middle and they go fighting over those doorways. Well, what happens to the outside? He who owns Snow Lane owns the entire map because guess what they can do to you? They can get behind you, they can get down spawn beacons, and they can just back raid you all day long. And as you can see, the teammates are starting to show up, but when I first made this move, didn't have a lot of help. So it's all about staying alive and killing as many people as possible before I go down with the ship. The good news is the team responded. So every time I spawn in, I literally look at the map, look at the mini map and say, wait a minute, what's the path of least resistance? How do I think I can get behind them? Or what lane do I need to shut down to keep them from getting behind us and this happens in every single map and game mode in the uh, game doesn't matter if it's rush or conquest a big map or little map if you got a free pass to go cap a couple flags or back cap them good things happen teammates can spawn on you you can grab enemy vehicles you can shut down enemy vehicles you can make it hard for them to push out by setting up slams mines and c4 you can be an absolute pest which is what the enemy team traditionally won't expect because again, this is a game of statistics. The majority of people who play any type of shooter are of the sheep mentality. Hey, I just spawned in. There's a bunch of teammates in front of me. Let's go run that way. I'm safe in a group. But that group has the same mentality. Everybody's looking the same way. So even when you are clumped up on C, looking at those two to three doorways, depending if they've blown up the middle part and those walls there, who's watching your left? Who's watching your back? So whenever you get a chance... Take a look at the bigger situation. When you're dead, you can take a look at the bigger map. When you spawn in on a teammate, maybe push a flank or try to stop a lane. If you see that there's a spot like this where the lane is falling apart, try to support it. If you don't have the numbers, play super defensive. If there's a long gap like there is now, and there's probably a couple bushwookies down there trying to eye you up if, as a free meal, be careful. Make sure you're full health before you peek. It's all about taking advantage of the situations that are presented to you and not knowingly falling into situations that are advantageous to the bad guys. And realize as you're working these flanks, establishing new lanes, gaining back old lanes that were just lost or collapsed, you're going to be the smaller percentage of player on your team doing this. So you might come up against some harder times. But if you do eliminate the bad guys, get a capture point, or get behind them, the rewards can be absolutely massive. Not just for yourself, but for your team as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of how to become a better noob for Battlefield 4, and please tell me your best wolf story so far to date. What were the odds? What was the risk? What was the reward and the payout? On the next episode of how to become a better noob for Battlefield 4, we're going to be focusing on several things that you could do to greatly increase your survivability, and kill the death ratio before you actually take a shot at a bad guy on the business side of your gun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you soon, YouTubers. Take care.